well uh, in this video i will be uh, uh, talking about a small example of tensors so i will basically be taking a zero to tensor which will uh, eat which will eat uh, two vectors to give you a c infinity m function if it is a tensor field or it will uh, give you a real number or whatever the underlying field be. So uh, this is the tensors, uh, I will be tr trying to do a transformation of this tensor uh, using the uh, transformation rule of tensors that we have seen in the previous videos. So first of all, uh, a, a quick uh, fact uh, I wanted to confirm that is that uh, del del over xi evaluated at a point in the manifold belongs to a tangent space uh, TPM at a point P because it can eat a function f and give a real number. So uh, this can eat a smooth function c infinity m function to give a real number. But this on the other hand uh, it can eat it can eat a point it can eat a point in the manifold to give exactly this quantity which is a TPM element. So this kind of maps which take go from the manifold level to the tangent space to a point or rather to the disjoint union of the tangent spaces uh, these are called vector fields because of the very fact that a vector field evaluated at any point in the manifold give a vector. So uh, leaving that fact uh, for now uh, that's a very subtle fact that won't be uh, come that will not be used much so let this be a zero to tensor this is the uh, this is the chart representation so this is a x chart representation of a zero to tensor so now we will be transforming this so this is a this belongs to the manifold m this is a two dimensional manifold subspace and there are two charts so one is a x chart map another is a y chart map so x chart map is nothing but the identity map and you get, uh, get two coordinates a comma b given a point p it will take you to this point so and the y coordinate the y coord y map and x map are related by this transition function that I have shown here. You can see the arrows uh, and this is the transition function. Now the metric, the metric, the metric in x under the x chart, the metric under the x chart is given in this form. It is a diagonal metric. So a, a metric or a zero to tensor uh, 0 to tensor that is symmetric and non-degenerate is called a metric. So the, let's talk about only the 0 to tensor. If you have a 0 to tensor, you can, you can collect the components of a 0 to tensor that, uh, in a matrix form, in a matrix form and then you can form such a matrix. But this matrix uh, doesn't satisfy all the matrix properties that it should. But anyway, uh, just this is just a uh, rewriting of this notation that uh, the 1-1 one, one element is A and the 2-2 two, two element is 1 and rest of the elements are 0. So we come at this notation of the uh, matrix. This is the this is the uh, uh, this is the 0 to tensor, this is a 0 to tensor in the x chart. Now we need to transform it to a 0 to tensor in y chart. So for that we remember this is the transformation rule that I have shown here in this red box. So where uh, there is a summation between u and v via the Einstein summation convention. Now given this fact, Given this fact, we need to compute these elements and we are given, we are given such a transition function. So it is easy actually to find these kinds of elements because this element that you see here is just this. This is just a definition. So this is a definition of that. And now this is quite easy to find from this transition function. 
सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल योर ट्रांजिशन फंक्शन वाई ओ एक्स इनवर्स ऑफ ए कॉमा बी इज नथिंग बट ए पावर वन बाई थ्री एंड ई पावर ए प्लस बी सो सो सपोज लेट एस सी वट इज द वट इज सो दिस इज द अगेन द मेट्रिक मैट्रिक्स कलेक्शन ऑफ डेल वाई यू ओवर डेल एक्स न्यू सो डेल सो डेल वाई वन ओवर डेल एक्स टू डेल वाई वन ओवर डेल एक्स टू मीन्स बाई डेफिनेशन आई हैव टू सो इट इज डेल एक्स टू सो डेल टू ऑफ वाई वन ओ एक्स इनवर्स सो आई हैव टू कंप्यूट दिस एलिमेंट एंड लेट सी सो वाई ओ एक्स इनवर्स इज दिस गाई एंड वाई वन मीन्स दिस सो आई मस्ट डिफरेंशिएट दिस विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू बी but the differentiation of a power 1 by 3 with respect to b is zero and hence i get a zero here so like that you can compute every coordinate so like uh, del y1 over del x1 is just uh, differentiating a power 1 by 3 with respect to a so like that you compute this this four matrix entries and then we will just so u stand for the row and new stands for the column and now once we have obtained our matrix entries that you see here we will we can compute the inverse of this matrix we can compute the inverse of this matrix and then the inverse of this matrix the elements of inverse of this matrix is precisely the elements that you see appearing here this thing so the i just compute the inverse of the element of this matrix so this is the inverse inverse so this brings me to this matrix here this brings me to this matrix now i will just plug in the components of this matrix to find the various components of uh, the uh, the 0 to tensor in y chart so suppose the 1 1 coordinate of 0 to tensor in y chart is related to x by like here where i put alpha equal to 1 beta equal to 1 and sum over mu and nu so that gives me this fact and then this is this is simply because uh, on the x chart this is a diagonal matrix i will just get g11 plus g22 terms the off diagonal terms won't exist and now i have to compute i have to compute this thing here so but this thing is uh, del x1 over del y1 is just the 11 one element of this uh, this thing and so i will just um, form a square of this thing and then del x2 over del y1 is just uh, uh, row 2 column 1 so i will go to row 2 and column 1 that is this thing that you see here that is this part and that will give me this final thing in a similar fashion i can compute each of the components g11 g12 g21 and g22 and this is the final 2 cross 2 matrix which is the chart transformation of uh, the 0 to tensor in the x chart to 0 to tensor in the y chart so uh, for performing this was a uh, rather a, this chart transformation was very uh, tedious but generally the general way to perform such a matrix uh, calculation chart transformation is precisely in this fashion